guys, welcome to my channel. How's every little thing? Here at Chronically Beautiful, we are trying our best to live a good life, even though we probably don't feel like it. Today, I'm really excited to do a review on a dupe of the Time Iron that I've seen all over YouTube. This is a $23 dupe that I got on eBay, and I feel a little bad about doing a dupe of a product that's working hard, but not bad enough to not do it. So we're going to just go ahead and give it a whirl today. I got this on eBay. Um, excited to fiddle around with it and kind of walk you through this guy. So let's get down to it. So this is the item we are reviewing today. It is the, wait for it, 2-in-1 Knee Star Iron Pro Hair Straightener Curling Hair Iron 2-in-1 Styling Tool. You're doing too much. Which I purchased from eBay for $22.99. And once again, this is a situation where I saw it on the Facebook and got pulled in. I am a sucker for these Facebook videos. So I looked at it and this was the actual one that was on Facebook now. I didn't buy it there. I went to eBay and found it cheaper. And then when I went on YouTube to try and find some things out about it, I typed this in and the time iron kept coming up. And you may be familiar with that. That is like the pro version that this is a knockoff of that I didn't even know existed. Well, it's $199 and I do not have $199 to fiddle around with a curling iron. I shouldn't even have spent $23 on a curling iron because I have about 50 of them that I hardly use, but whatever. I just was enthralled with it per usual with Facebook videos. So I watched a bunch of videos about it while I was waiting for it to get here, and it is no frills. It is a plastic body. It has gold plates. I'm not sure what they are coated with. Um, probably not anything too fancy. I love gold! And it is in Celsius. So the highest temperature here says 220, but you have to convert that to Fahrenheit. So it, it does line up to be like a regular curling iron. It is like a rose gold color. And if you can see, it closes kind of like a scissor. And then it's got this kind of guard thing on this side, which I guess is what does the cool thing. So the reason I wanted this is because those hair straightener curlers are just like all the rage. And I cannot get a, a beachy hair wave straightener curler situation to save my life. I just can't. Always playing around with it, can never do it. It's got like these cool parts right here to, you know, hold on to it with. It feels cheap. It's plastic. It does have a nice thick cord that like rotates and the cord is pretty long. Um, so I mean, it's a $20 curling iron, so I'm like not too excited. So we're going to give this a whirl. I'll give him a whirl. And I'm going to put my hair up. I did watch some instructional videos on the time iron, and I'm thinking this is probably going to be a pretty good dupe. Um, maybe even something you want to play around with and get used to to see if it's worth it to, to pay the $200 for the time. Um, I feel bad because this is like a ripoff of it. A, a clear dupe, but I, who, I, who has two hundred dollars to spend on a curling iron? And you know, no one's sending me anything for free because I have nine subscribers. So, <laughs> but you could be one of them. Don't forget. So we're just gonna try to make a curl happen before I section my hair and all that good stuff. So I'm pulling a piece of hair, and it says to pull it forward. And, and I don't want you to think that any of this information came with this thing because it didn't. This thing literally came in a. Maybe I have it here. No, I don't. But it came in like a, a mail envelope in a bubble wrap sleeve. No box, nothing. <laughs> I think you could order one with a box, but it was like $5 more. So I just got the cheap one. Okay, so they say you're supposed to put your thumb behind the power button. And then when you put it on your head, it's supposed to go with the, the guidelines or the when, where you can see that isn't folded over close to your head. And then you're supposed to curl it like that as you pull it away slowly. So we're going to try it. I watched a bunch of videos, so I think I can do this. I haven't really played with it, though. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Ow, it's hot. So I'm going to place it there, and then I'm going to turn it. Am I turning it the right way? Slowly. Oh, I think I was supposed to do something else. Yeah, well, that kind of did something, but actually I think I was supposed to fling the hair behind it or something. Let's try again. I can do this. 
So thumb behind the thing to go this way. And then you, no, that can't be right. Maybe I'm supposed to go like this and then go like that. Because I was supposed to pull the hair behind, I remember, and then pull it. And you're supposed to pull, like push it away from you, not pull it down. Yeah. Mm. That's not it. Let's try it again. Maybe you're supposed to go like that. No, that doesn't feel right either. That can't possibly be it. Yeah, no, that's not it. Okay, so like this. This goes like that. That goes like this. And then I push it away. Well, then that, that just straightened it. I mean, I guess it's a straightener too. Let's try a different piece. That one's kind of tired. Now you're supposed to do it the other way on the other side. You're supposed to have it go like this on the other side. There was one video for the real version of this where they like had like a diagram and everything. Like this, I think. And then turn it. Push. Whoops. Damn it. All right, let me figure this out and I'll be back. Okay, I found a video. You can see I had one successful curl over here and I keep trying on this side. So I'm gonna to try to go through this. I'll link this video in case you have a real time iron and would like to use it, it's from their site. Um, and if you want to get a fake one, this will help you too. I feel so bad about that. She has like a diagram on a mirror and everything. Okay, I need to watch it one more time. Oh, okay, this side. Okay, this side with the, the lip on it is the guidelines. The side where you can see the iron plates is not. I was confused, um, but you are definitely supposed to still put your thumb behind the thing. All right, so she says when you do this, you are, okay, please work. This little piece of hair probably is like, there's probably some molecular theory as to why it's just not going to do anything now because it's like tired. It's Ooh. science. I need to reset it or something, but what else? Okay, so this part's supposed to go on your head. The cord's supposed to face down when you're on your right side. Hair pulled forward. Okay, so we're going to clip it. And then we go and twist it and pull this hair around and then come down slowly, leading with the tip of the iron, just the tip. Just the tip, just for a second, just to see how it feels. Um, and we are, huh? We have a curl. It worked. Ah, okay, this lady who's the spokesperson for this product, the real version, really knows what she's talking about. All right, cool. Um, if I can remember how to do that again, look, we're gonna do our whole head and kind of see how this goes. I'm gonna clip everything up out of the way and I'll be back with you in a bit. Cue fast forwarding. Mm -hmm. All right, we clipped, we're looking awesome. We're gonna go in, oh, this is confusing now at the bottom. Oh, okay, all right, we're gonna just try it. So this, Guideline part towards the head, even though it's kind of upside down now because my hair is low. Twist it and pull awkwardly. I feel like I'm breaking my arm. Did that do anything? Not really. Did I do this? Did I twist it the right way? I'm gonna burn my ear. I know it. I know it. Okay. Go like that. Twist away. Pull forward. All right. I don't know if that. These little short guys are gonna work because I, I didn't study how to do little short neck bottom hairs. I know this way you're supposed to come like around your head and it seems really uncomfortable to me and it's probably gonna get old quick. And then turn. How do you do this without burning yourself? This is madness. 
Uh, th this, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way! Although that kind of... No, it didn't. It looks like a janky, skeezy mullet situation. You gotta keep on keeping on. We're just gonna go the next layer and just hope that no one sees this. The tutorial tells you how to do it this way, but like this way, it's very like geometry that is needed to get this thing right. Am I an idiot? Don't answer that. That's rhetorical. I feel like there wouldn't be so many videos on their website of how to do this if it wasn't confusing to everyone. All right. Guidelines on the head side. This can't be right. Turn. And, oh god. This can't possibly. No. Alright, I'm gonna sit and play with this and fast forward till I get it figured out. Oh! Look! I did it. Now I don't remember how I did it. I'm gonna try it again. Yes! It's not as good as the first one, but it works. Alright, let's see if I can do this back part now. And away I go. That feels curly. Is it curly? I don't know. It feels curly. It does. It might be the wrong way, but I don't care. Okay, now on this side, we're supposed to have the tip of the iron go down. And go like this this. This is really uncomfortable. I do have a mirror in here now though, so that's exciting. Though I'm not looking at you as much. I'm sorry. I'm pushing it this way. Meh. <sighs> Trying again. You gotta keep on keeping on. So you guys, I'm having the worst luck today. I spent all morning like getting ready to do the, my first get ready with me video and turn it, flip it, pull it. And I'm sitting, I got a new camera that my mom is letting me borrow. I'm so excited to use it. And I'm sitting here and I'm like doing my get ready with me Hashimoto's diagnosis story. Okay, that's kind of something. That's kind of something. We'll take it. And then... I have, a, I have my computer hooked up like a real monitor and everything, which I can't do with this camera. And the memory card filled up, and I did not realize that it did. So as usual, I just keep recording when the camera stops and missed, like, it ran out on foundation, and I realized it on powder contour. So it goes this way. So that was another video scrapped, and then I tried to salvage it, and it just kept running out of memory and... It was very upsetting and frustrating, and so I thought, well, okay, we got a curl. Look at us. I don't have any product in my hair, by the way. I wanted to kind of give this thing a true test without product. Um, yeah, so it's just been a rough day, and now this thing is hard to work. <laughs> what can you do? Either way, though, I'm not at work today, and my house is pretty clean. My family is happy and healthy. So, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, struggling with a video is probably nothing to cry about. So, thanks for listening to my wine fest over nothing. <laughs> but okay, so we're going to continue on with curling the hair with the discount time iron dupe. So far, I don't feel like it's the curling iron's fault that this is not going well. It is purely user error. But I'm hoping that as we continue on with this, that I will get better at it. So let's see if that happens. Okay, guys, I have, I think I figured it out. I've pretty much gone through my whole head. Um, some of the curls are stronger than others. You kind of have to help it along. Like, what is happening here? There. Okay, when they pull all in together, they all go the same way. And so if you like to, I'm not skilled enough at this thing yet to mix it up and do different directions on the one side. I can hardly even handle the one direction on the one side. But see, like this one's just like, Mer. and but then some of them like look like nice beachy waves. It just, I don't, 
I really think it's my fault. I don't, I don't blame the device. It is me. So, okay. The full instructions. We'll do this like last one. So you're supposed to pull the hair up. Put the guy, thumb behind the power button. Guidelines to scalp. Close it. Close it. Twist it. Pull it. Close it. Twist it. Pull it. Bob it. Twist it. Pull it. Yes. That's what I've been saying to myself to help me get through this. And then it just, like, which way do I twist it? I think I have to, do I twist it this way to help? Or the other way? I'm not great at this. I don't know why I continue to do these hair-related videos. <laughs> oh, you twist it towards your face to kind of help it along. That's the direction. But Okay, well, that helps. All right, let me, uh, ugh. Let's try to do a couple more of these. Because we've got some pretty some pretty lame ones over here. So we're gonna do like this piece right here. So we're pulling it, tip down on the left side, clamp it, twist it away, pull this little guy under, and then pull it towards the head. Just kidding, the mirror. And oh see that's a good one. And then we twist it to help it along, which I don't feel like I should have to do that. I think this machine's supposed to do it, but whatever. Okay. okay. Wait, what? All right. Twist it. Pull it. Clap it. Well, I think that's about as good as this is going to get. I don't think it's the curling iron's fault. I really don't. Um, I am just not getting it. It's no wonder there's like five billion tutorials and you can call and FaceTime the time people to get them to show you how to do this right. So I don't think it's the Me Star 2-in-1 Pro Hot Style Tool to Curl Flat tools fault. I think it's my fault. So uh, I'm going to go try to do something, style this up a little bit, and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on this guy. Okay, so my final thoughts on this guy is Time Dupe, the Me Star Pro Style 2-in-1 blah 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 from eBay for $22.99 is um, that there is definitely a trick to doing this. I think from what I got out of it, I think that with practice it could be a lot better and I'll, I'll keep playing around with it because it's kind of a cool look, especially for someone that struggles to do the curls with the straightening iron, which I do. I imagine that the real version of this is probably much better, but I don't, I'd don't. i maybe get one of these to practice with first before investing that 200 bucks because you might find that it's very frustrating and difficult and hard to use, which I struggled, obviously. Also, it's, it's kind of hard to get it right, and all the curls go the same side on one side if you're following their tutorial, and I don't like that, because then all your curls stick together. Um, but it, it has potential, is what I'm saying. For, for $23, I think it definitely has potential, and there's a million different ones out there, but this is the Me Star one that keeps um, scrolling through my Facebook feed. It's definitely not as easy as all the girls on that little video, I will tell you that. Um, I would say... I give it like one thumb out of two, but probably it's my fault because I just wasn't good at this. If you can notice over here, it almost looks a little volumey, but the, it's kind of like flat and then there's a lump and then it goes. So I don't know if you can see that or not, um, but it's only on this side. On this side, it seems like more volume, just all there isn't the like thing where it goes down. So that I think just has to do with the right to left. And again, me not getting it, but I think if you were curious about this thing but don't want to spend the 200 bucks, just give it a whirl. I mean, it's 20 bucks, so you might as well give it a try.
All right, you guys, thank you so much. When you are checking out the link to this guy, which I'll put down below, please also be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the thumbs up if you liked watching me struggle with this curling iron. And don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all my future uploads. Thanks so much for sharing this with me today. I really enjoyed spending this time with you. Take care of you.